Hi guys, Chris again, and on this video I want to quickly discuss the differences between uh, minimum system requirements on games and recommended system requirements. Now, sometimes the manufacturers will make this really simple for you. Sometimes it's not so simple. So, the intention is that minimum system requirements are the absolute minimum that the game will run on. Now, oftentimes you can run the game on less than that. My understanding is that typically that's the minimum system requirement to provide the experience, the, the kind of the baseline experience that the man, or that the uh, the developer wants you to have. Um, now you can load the game sometimes, depending on whether or not they've just straight up whitelisted the requirements. You can oftentimes load and run the game at a lower setting than that. It'll typically result in a uh, let's just say less than ideal experience. Um, now, sometimes it will just be straight up whitelisted though. For example, Indiana Jones now um, is, is saying, oh, we require ray tracing hardware. And it will not load without that hardware. You can't bypass that to the best of my knowledge, at least from what I've seen. Then you have recommended, and that's gonna be to provide really the experience that, that the game was meant to be. So, for example, when you have a game like Cyberpunk, and it'll say, okay, minimum requirements, you can load the game on, I don't know, GTX 1050 Ti, something like that. But then they'll say, recommended, and it'll be something like an RTX 2060, or, you know, something along those lines. Um, now, sometimes, on some games, if the manufacturer is really helping you out, they'll actually list, okay, recommended, 1080p, low settings, here's the hardware. Max settings, 4K, 60 FPS, here's the hardware. That is what you really want, and honestly, I would like to see ga uh, game developers moving towards that, but at the end of the day, don't assume that because your system meets minimum system requirements that you're going to be having an ideal experience. That's going to be a subpar experience. The recommended requirements are going to be where you start hitting a, a um, kind of the, uh, the intended look and feel of the game. Let's put it that way. Um, anyway, that's you, we could talk about this for hours, but that's kind of minimum versus recommended in a nutshell. So thanks for watching.